I was surprised to hear his voice crack over the sound of my own heart breaking. The sensation of infinity that we had always shared finally collapsed as our hands let go. I turned away for what I believed to be forever that day and closed the door behind me. This story began as a cathartic exercise for me. It, like most everything I've ever written without the motivation of my academic or professional careers, is pretty much house cleaning for my mind, and emptying the mind of an excess of thought and imagination. Every now and again, this largely emotional, untargeted action seemingly takes on a life of its own, developing a consciousness and the need for a function. This yields an intelligent message with a variety of purposes, entertainment, inspiration, motivation, and so on. This is how I can best describe the sequence of events that began with scribbles on a notepad and over time, through considerable effort, day after day of spiritual insight, divine inspiration, and life experience gave birth to the novel, Love, Something Infinite. This is a novel inspired by true events and the characters depicted within are a mixture of composites and archetypes I have been blessed to encounter. While the situations and personalities have been fictionalized, it is my hope that Something Infinite still retains the true-to-life emotions I and many others have experienced. Despite my unique personal story, it is my desire to present the reader with a universal narrative that can tell every person's story. A plot beginning with a conflict common to most any person. The occasional or lifelong lack of self-acceptance. Ending with a universally necessary resolution, the initiation of true self-actualization. This is a storyline we can all live out a narrative for us all. These are the attributes which I feel make this story somewhat unique. I have been largely influenced by the works and reputations of literary greats such as Elin Harris, James Earl Hardy, and James Baldwin, to name a few. These are authors who taught me not only to hear the voices of the marginalized, the underserved, and the underrepresented, but to also see the commonalities between their stories and those of the majority. Something Infinite is a novel which seeks to reconcile the two. I spot Rodney anxiously awaiting me just on the other side of the threshold. It is as if the sight of Rodney completes a circuit coming together with the revived feelings of love from my God, my family, my friends, and myself. We turn and make our way through the terminal, oblivious to everyone and everything around us, on the way to something infinite.